Hi, welcome back to this video. We're looking at the Centrify SSH Gateway, part of Centrify Infrastructure Services. And in the previous videos, we have looked at identity consolidation, identity assurance with MFA policy, enforcing the least privilege principle, and uh, workflow and access request, right? So now we're moving to a different set of uh, requirements, and that's about enriching our security operations and being able to detect uh, if something goes wrong. Uh, Real quickly, the root, root cause, and this could be a poor change control, poorly executed, or maybe um, a data breach. So, uh, in the previous session, you saw me actually use the um, the actual uh, connection string to be able to jump into from a Azure system, uh, from an AWS system to an Azure system. Now, uh, if I look at the dashboard, notice that I have the sessions actually here, and I have the ability to monitor in real time. Uh, but before we go into that, it's very important to notice the recent activity. This is um, the activity feed that is created, is populating something called the event table. The event table can be tapped by any uh, security uh, or a SIEM solution like um, uh, LogLogic or uh, Splunk. And uh, ultimately, you have the ability to feed security operations so they can uh, do alarms or uh, mine the data. If you need to look at uh, session data, for example, the sessions in the uh, SSH gateway are just like the web sessions are uh, able to be monitored. And they're monitored in real time. This means that anything that happens in this system, I can see in, in any other in, in the proctor session. So, PS minus EF. Um, so it's actually, it works exactly the same way. But a really important thing is that this is a cross-platform capability, right? So we have the same ability to do this on Windows platforms as well. So the same way we can uh, monitor and proctor a SSH session, you'll be able to do it across the board as in here. Uh, another capability is the ability to terminate a session. For example, if I wanted to terminate the session in Azure our, our Red Hat 1, I can always terminate the session and notice that uh, I'm getting the message that um, the session was terminated by administrator. If I wanted to end all sessions, I could just do that and that will kick out my, um, um, my, my party session altogether. So ultimately, in real time, we can monitor what's going on. What about after the fact? What about if you want to review that poorly executed change control or maybe that system that is suspected uh, with uh, suspicious ac activity? We can always go back in, into um, direct audit. So if you are a Centrify customer today, you know that direct audit provides this same multi-platform capability. So I can look at the sessions, look at the index command list. In this case, very little was done by me. You saw me when, when I did that. But the most important feature is the ability to search and play back, fast forward, rewind, and get a lot of information, including, for example, information even on this very same session that we're having right now. In this case is a Windows session. And because I'm doing also host-based auditing, I have the index commands or index programs in this case. And notice that I can fast forward, rewind, and uh, look at all the information. Uh, the platform also provides a set of events. So if I wanted to see events grouped by user, for example, I will see a feed based on the user of what's been going on. Uh, maybe the, today I can actually look at each session and see the category. In this case, most of them are about remote login. Uh, but we can also do privilege elevation. And then you have the user activity reports, the several categories of reports that are related to the platform. So bottom line, um, not only we can provide the security controls to prevent uh, in terms of policy, access control, multi-factor, but also to monitor in real time and investigate, detect after the fact. So um, I'm hoping that in the next video, we're going to talk about uh, the flexibility of the platform. And uh, I'm hoping that this video was helpful.